What is going on everybody? It is E-Rock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video is going to be all about Loba, her abilities, an ultimate guide, and some tips in order to help you guys play her better, get you guys more wins, more kills, and just be an overall better teammate. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you leave a like on the video. Uh, it's absolutely free, so like, why not? And Twitch link is going to be in the description box down below if that interests you at all. So without further ado, let's get into it. Apex Legends Season 5 has finally arrived and everyone is fighting over who gets to play Loba. This Master Thief is a support character that is capable of quickly identifying and grabbing high tier loot while remaining rather mobile thanks to her teleporting bracelet. While she isn't the best hero in the game per se, Loba can easily catch her foes off guard or provide value uh, to her team while they're running on low supplies. Since the new meta hasn't completely been established yet, it's unclear if Loba will be in the competitive scene or not. She's very good, but she could also be quite situational when compared to others such as like Gibraltar, Wraith, and even Watson. We'll start out with her eye for quality, her passive ability. Uh, her passive ability allows her to see epic and legendary tiered loot through walls, loot boxes, and structure that gives her a superior advantage when the match begins as she can seek out the best armor and items. However, it doesn't mean you shouldn't just sprint around looking for the purple body armor, especially if you aren't alone. It's important to still prioritize getting a shield and weapon when you land, even if it's not a high tier choice. Think of the eye for quality as a way to save you and your team time when they're looting or go in a larger area such as um, repulsion, artillery. Uh, additionally, you can actually ping the loot that Loba sees through walls or containers. Loba can only ping items through walls at a maximum distance of 10 meters, so keep that in mind. This range can be extended to 50 meters via a sniper scope if she is zooming in on the items. Keep that in mind as uh, you're playing as her. Uh, you'll also want to start learning how to distinguish different types of high tier gear through structures. They aren't always clear at the distance and it's easy to mix up some items so keep in mind that if the item is tall it's either going to be a phoenix kit or a purple shield uh, since the backpack lies on its side. Additionally most of the small epic items are either mods or hop ups. Next getting into burglar's best friend or tactical ability. Uh, this is the main reason why Loba can be so dangerous in combat. Burglar's best friend allows Loba to throw her jump drive bracelet and then transport to its location. The item is tossed out at an arc similar to like a thermite grenade and then she'll warp in moments to where the bracelet touches the ground. You cannot transport Loba in midair so don't expect any high flying tricks. Sorry. You can hit the right trigger on controller or whatever you have it customized to or your left mouse button to drop the bracelet to the ground while it's flying. When you toss out the bracelet, don't focus on the arc in the air. Look to the orange and black line on the floor. This line will extend from where Loba threw her transporter to its current position, giving you a more accurate reading of where you'll end up warping. It can be hard to read at first, so I suggest going into the firing range and practicing landing on a small piece of cover from at least 100 meters away. Keep in mind there is a like a ha one and a half second delay from the moment she warps to when Loba can fire her weapon, so just keep that in mind. And this may not seem like a huge amount of time, but you'll completely be defenseless during this brief period when she puts on her bracelet. There's no way to animation cancel her throwing on the bracelet after the warp. Because of this, do not just transport directly into someone's face, since there's a high chance you'll die before you can fight. Instead, try to get further behind an enemy so you have enough time to both complete the animation and then shoot the enemies. Another trick you'll want to practice is throwing the bracelet through windows with bars. It's a nifty way to surprise an enemy who is focused on someone else or beat someone to it. Be warned, if you hit the window frame or the bars of the bracelet, you will just fall to the ground and you'll be transported outside of the structure. Loba's transport is, the, is best served as ways to flank enemies or reposition yourself during a battle. Don't get too aggressive though with the warp since it's got a lengthy cooldown and you'll be stuck there after you teleport. So 
try and flank enemies with it try and get high ground positioned uh, if you need to quickly back out and uh, use it as a way to heal uh, but definitely it's a way to help third party teammates getting different positions on a team while you are fighting another team with your squad so just keep all that in mind while using loba finally black market boutique her ultimate ability loba's ultimate is black market boutique which reveals around her creating a virtual marketplace for her team to use once it's thrown to the ground it will take exactly five seconds to deploy and will fire a blue wave out that will allow you to access all loot within about an 80 meter radius uh, in any direction of the staff think of the afflicted areas as a big circle instead of just a flat radius this allows you to pick up loot that may be several floors below you where you deploy it this ultimate has a 175 second cooldown so you want to be a little bit more selective about where you deploy the staff outside of just conveniently looting an area uh, one of the best applications for black market is when you are resurrecting something after you call in the dropship toss the staff down at the station so they can quickly pick up what they need alternatively the market is superb if you are in a hectic firefight and need to swap shields since it will grab anything from death boxes remember enemies can use your black market as well so make sure to close it once your team is done as for what to grab, I recommend focusing on items such as shields and modifications. This ultimate can be pretty awkward when you spend both your slots on a weapon or add just a stack of ammo. Instead, I like to use this ultimate to try and find my team better body shields, backpacks, or helmets before a big fight. So, in conclusion with that, make sure your um, black market boutique is close by to you. I would suggest even making it somewhat hidden if you can uh, and then definitely when you're done close it so another team can't use it as well so that is going to be it for me you guys i hope you found this video a little bit helpful on some tips you can do with loba to hopefully make your gameplay better make yourself a better teammate and just for overall learning uh, loba just a little bit more if you are enjoying the content like i stated in the beginning of the video uh you could subscribe to the channel if you like it um and it's free leave a like on the video and Twitch links, again, description box down below. Thank you guys for the support as always, and I'll see you in the next one.